Now, 7Search is another pay-per-click advertising network that you need to be familiar with. So they are, have a bunch of publishers signed up to their network, which are websites that will display your ads. So you could choose to have display ads, which are ads that are based on an actual website within content. Pay-per-click ads, which are text-based ads that are targeted on search engines to people who are searching for related content. So the same way that you'd set up Google AdWords or Bing uh, pay-per-click and mobile ads. Now, personally, I prefer the pay-per-click because I think that they're the most targeted visitors and you all know how well AdWords and the Bing network work. Now, the thing with 7Search is that, as you can see, if we go to the advertising page here, it's actually quite a bit cheaper than the competitors. And the reason for that is that 7Search uses a, many smaller search engines. So Google know they have the monopoly, so, so their ads can be a little bit more expensive because lots of people are advertising on that particular network. Now, if you advertise on 7Search, because it's a whole network of different smaller search engines, you can get a much better pay-per-click rate so it's definitely worth checking out um, you will save money and there are no minimums the same way you will select your own cost per click your own budget so there's no way that you can go broke by trying this uh, network out now this is Oodle online marketplace so it's a marketplace where people will sell cars, motorcycles, boats, they'll rent out apartments, office space, uh, they'll advertise jobs or even sell pets. So it's a very varied marketplace. Now more often than not, most people use Oodle just to sell old things or unwanted pets or you know puppies or, or whatever, that type of thing. But that's the reason why most marketers don't even know about it or don't use it at all. But it does have its uses for marketers and I'm going to explain why now. As you can see down here there is a section called services and there is a section called tickets. So as a marketer if you are offering any services you can actually list them on Oodle. Alternatively if you have a webinar or any sort of online event you could actually list that on here as well. So even though it might look like a website where you just sell off your old stuff or your pets you can actually also list your online events on here so it's really really simple all you do is to create a post by hitting post here at the top and you just fill in the appropriate details so what are you posting it will be an online event while you're posting it you know because uh, obviously you're looking to get people to attend you would describe the event you'd add a photo if you want you'd select category which would be in this case tickets and it would be free so this could be online or you could just put an area in there and you could post it's that simple so that's how you'd use Oodle as a marketer now obviously the primary use of this website isn't for marketing purposes but it is a website that you can actually use to enhance the traffic's, traffic back to your event or to your service websites. Now whatever niche you're in, I would always recommend blogging. Now the great thing about blogging in this day and age is bloggers often help each other. There's a real good community spirit within bloggers and a great place to network with other bloggers and help each other out is the website Triber. Now. As you can see, this is the home page, but when I log in and create a brand new profile, this is what I see. Now, at the moment, it's completely empty, my stream. However, if I joined what was called a tribe, which is a group of people, all in the same niche, who all help each other, I would see posts from my tribe members here, and I would have the opportunity to share them. And the same way, if I posted, my tribe members would see my post within their stream. So of course the first thing to do is consider joining some tribes. You will need a blog up and running first of course. So if you click on the tribes tab, 
you could either create your own tribe or join an existing tribe now as you can see there are different types of tribes down here and you can see the members in each tribe and their reach so the amount of people that are following their blogs in total so as you can see small business here pretty large reach social beards interesting niche there pretty large reach and so on and so forth so there's lots of different tribes now of course I can use the search facility as well but what I'm going to do is click on bonfires now the bonfires are basically a message, a message board where new members or people who have just created tribes would basically put their message out there to recruit new people so as you can see all people looking for tribes in their niche so as you can see any ETSY tribes out there I'm a natural health fanatic looking to connect with like minded if I click on this I'm going to get the full complete uh, post of course started a new tribe about people who love investing I'm looking to join active tribes sharing two to three days per week minimum so as you can see there are people out there who want to share and want to help each other and this is basically as a blogger what you want to do you want to have a whole community and instead of you know just spamming your blog with affiliate links what you want to do is start to grow your following grow traffic together and all help each other out so as you can see the categories of the bonfire are over here on the right hand side or you can search if you have a particular niche that you want to search for now if you want to create a new topic just to actually you know put your message out there perhaps if ask if there's a tribe for you you just click this start new topic button so the thing about tribe is it's just really really simple and when you join a few tribes all you have to do is when you log in you'll see the posts right here and the posts that you like you can share them so it's dead dead simple and people will also share back for you if you have good valuable content so that's Triber folks and if you're a blogger you should definitely be on here we're over here at sitescout.com which is one of my favorite self-serve advertising platforms it enables you to advertise to people on mobile or desktop and you can select how much you want to pay per impression based on the publisher retargeting users who visited your website in the past specific audience characteristics or even specific content based websites so it gives you a lot of different opportunities to advertise to different people and because it uses real time bidding RTB it enables you to get some very very good low cost ads now real time bidding although I don't understand the technical side of it basically you will bid against your competition in real time for an advertising impression so what that means is if you're retargeting for example um, and you have a very low bid but there's no one else that's actually bidding higher than you to advertise on a specific website to a person that's visited your um, your platform in the, your website in the past that will enable you to get very low cost advertisements and a lot of uh, publishers were a little bit weary about um, real time bidding when it first came onto the market exactly because of that because the advertisers people like us were getting a very very good deal so just to show you the scope of the network that we're working with on Sidescout there are 63,000 users which are advertisers 68,000 websites 73 exchanges nearly 150,000 campaigns and 31 billion daily ad views so it is a very very big network now of course this is a paid traffic method so you're going to need a little bit of money to start with but because it involves real time bidding you can bid on whatever amount you want per impression so it enables you to be in charge of your own budget of course and you can do uh, text based ads or even video based ads on this network so it's definitely worth signing up for has a lot of different opportunities 
and if you head into the back office it's really really easy to set up an ad. This website is Viral Content Buzz and as you can see on the home page it enables you to have your content shared by influencers for free. So basically it's a share for share network across a variety of social media networks Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest and StumbleUpon. So you can share other people's content, earn points and then they will share your content the same way. So if we head on over to the members area what we can see is a dashboard that has a bunch of different articles or content as we scroll down the different content and each content has share buttons as you can see Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook etc. Now the way this works it's, it's dead simple is that when you actually sign up you go into your settings and your profile and all you do is link up your social media accounts for these websites and you'll also select some categories that you're interested in from the list here on the left hand side so personally I, I uh, clicked on affiliate marketing, business, sport, infographics but you can select whichever category your niche is in and when you log in these actual content articles will be related to the categories that you've selected so all you do is if you find any good content that you'd like to share with your uh, social media followers you simply just click on the link share it and then you will receive points for that or credits as they're called so at the moment I have 10 credits which is what you get by default when you sign up so but if I was to share uh, these stories I would receive more credits okay now all you can do is transfer those credits into a project which is basically content like this of your own so you just click add project you type in the URL that you want to promote which could be you know a blog post squeeze page whatever a title and then the description which is basically the content of your post it's that simple and then you'd select the groups that it's uh, related to so if other people have selected those groups this your uh, your content your post would show on their dashboard now the way it wor works is that you have a budget for your project which is based on how many credits you have in your account so the more credits you have the longer you can uh, place your project in front of people because your credits will get used up when people share your content so it's really that simple as you can see by clicking here here the credits work if someone has 100,000 followers on Twitter and they tweet your post that will be five credits if someone has only 500 followers that's only going to be one credit so basically it's going to cost you more credits from your budget um, if people with more followers actually share your content so really simple guys it's just share for share and all you need is an active social media account on one of these networks to get started now I'm sure you've seen this type of award graphic before like this here so it's a little bit like the investor in people logo now this website here called Laurel Leaves Award Maker enables you to generate your own graphic of this type using a really simple um, just entering text format so what we can do here is we could put So we could put yourwebsite.com awards five stars to Joe Blogs 2015. So here's the way that the award would come out. So yourwebsite.com awards five stars to Joe Blogs uh, 2015. Now that's how the picture comes out. As I say, you can change it here can change the style of the leaves you could change the size of the logo itself you could change the color of the words so it's really easy to format and then what you do here is simple you just download the image 
Now, how is this useful for traffic? Now, what you can do, if you're ranking different blogs, different websites, different posts, you can send this award logo, you can send this award logo to people, and they will then put this award logo potentially on their blogs, on their social media websites, to say that they've been awarded five stars. Anyone that's looking at their blog or their social media website will see your website URL here. So that can generate quite a lot of direct traffic from other people's websites just by giving them this award, which, you know, doesn't really exist. It's just an award that you've put together just to say that you're ranking their blog or their website five stars. So it's a really simple way of generating direct traffic. All you need to do is create the award, which takes, as you can tell, about two minutes click done, then load the image and then send it over to whoever you want to give it to. Now the website on your screen is a file sharing website called foreshare.com. Now it might look pretty ugly but it is actually pretty popular and I'm going to give you two reasons why. First reason is that it's free to use so I can upload files to this website completely free and it stops my hosting account being used just to host files that are being shared online. Secondly, there's lots of illegal download products being shared on here. Now that's obviously unfortunate for products for product creators and people who are having their products shared for free illegally. But as a marketer, we have to take advantage of those opportunities. So what I would personally recommend is that if you have any content at all, whether it's a free ebook, whether it's phot photographs related to your niche, whether it's podcasts, whether it's video tutorials, I would always recommend sharing them on here. Now, the key to getting people to download them is to name them similar to what people are going to be looking for on here. So, if there's any products in your niche that are really popular that people might be looking for on here to download, you could name your ebook or your tutorial video similar to those particular products. So, what you're looking to do is basically collect the fall off in terms of search um, people searching for products so that's the way that this would work and as always if you have content I would always recommend redistributing that across different sharing platforms anyway because the more places that your content's placed the more chance you've got of different people downloading it and in turn returning to your website now I'm sure you've all seen this logo before because eBay is obviously one of the most popular websites on the internet. But what you may not know is eBay also has a few other web properties that they create just to expand upon their brand. So one of them is their classified ad websites located at ebayclassifieds.com. So you can obviously change your location based on where you are in the world. And it's free to actually post an ad in any of these sections here. So if you're looking to sell a desk or sell um, you know, a game or an old camera or an old computer or whatever you want, you can do so by posting an ad on eBay Classifieds. It works basically in a very similar way to Craigslist, it's just not quite as well known. So how would you use this to drive more traffic? Well. There's a few different ways. Um, one of them is posting up a job, which might not actually be a real job, and then you set up an autoresponder. So if someone actually replies to your job advertisement, you'll send them an email instantly telling them that you're actually looking over their application and you'll be in contact if they're successful. In the footer of that email, you could have a link to your squeeze or your web page. So that's one way that you could generate traffic. But another way, a very simple way, is just to list a free downloadable book. So all you do is you click create your free ad. You place it in the books and magazines category. You put the title of the book, you make the book free and then you'd post a description and uh, just an e-cover. Now, what you'd do is you'd of course have your email address in there, and then when someone actually emails you to pick up the free book, 
all you do is reply to them with the URL of your squeeze page. So it's a very very simple. It's um, it's manually approved. So you have to make the ad look like a serious ad. I would not put the URL personally in the description, but you can try that if you want to. I would personally recommend someone emails you and you'll shoot them back a link to your squeeze page. So that's how simply these guys. Very very easy. The same way you'd use some another classified ad website such as Craigslist. Now if you're in the internet marketing or make money online niche you're probably aware of the advertising opportunities on the warrior forum. For example this advert up here up here at the top costs $100 for a day but you'll be in a revolution with I believe seven other advertisers maybe even more than that now so you don't really know how many uh, impressions you're gonna get when you're here and the only way to find out if you're gonna make a return on investment on your $100 is to actually try it out. However, an alternative is Wicked Fire, which is basically the next most popular forum in the Make Money Online or online marketing niche. So as you can see, it's pretty popular. There are uh, posts today in the uh, the main forum and in other forums. So basically, this is a popular forum, not as popular as the Worry Forum. But at the same time, to advertise on here isn't as competitive. And so if we click advertise at the top here, what we see is the advertising opportunities available on Wicked Fire. So top leaderboard tells you the size of the ad, and that's five dollars fifty-five cents per one thousand impressions. And that's available. So the add to cart button's there after first posting threads so this is when people are actually engaged by the content 444 per 1000 impressions footer sidebar and the top leaderboard for mobile which is 222 per 1000 impressions isn't available so that's the only ad that is not available at the moment so let's say we're interested in the top leaderboard if I click on add to cart what I can see is that at $5.55 per 1,000 impressions, I could purchase 50,000 impressions on my advertisement at the top here. It would replace this advert, presumably, for 277.50, which is 555 times 50. So that adds up perfectly. So if you wanted to advertise on the forum, you couldn't get to the worry forum, or you wasn't happy with the amount of impressions that you're going to get, you could consider advertising on Wicked Fire. And if you have a, a squeeze page or a sales page or JV page, this is obviously a pretty useful place for you to advertise. So do take a look at the forum, see if you think the users are the type of people that you want to actually advertise to, and if you do, consider having a look at the advertising options here. This advertising network is called Adblade and it's a network that enables you to create content style ads just like this example on your screen here. So basically creating ads that are embedded into a site that look like they're actually related to that site content. So what we're going to do is give you a quick example here. So I'm over here at their advertisers section and what you can see is they work with some of the world's most trusted news websites Fox News, Yahoo etc. So basically your advert would be placed on a news or newspaper type website. These do, uh, Adblade don't work with long tail ugly websites only real authorities in the news uh, area. So as you can see here are the type of ads that will be displayed so they'll actually look like they're part of the website where the ads are being displayed so they'll look like they're actual content on that specific website now what that means is that people will not ignore them so basically ad blindness which means that you will see an ad on the side of a website you'll know it's an ad straight away and you'll just ignore it doesn't really happen with these type of ads so this platform also enables you to do retargeting which is if someone's already visited your website, you'll then leave a cookie on their, uh, in their browser and you can actually advertise specifically to those people again. So there are some really good uh, advertising options on this site 
and you only need to spend a $50 deposit to get started and you can either do cost per click so you know exactly how much you're paying per click or you can do cost per 1000 impressions so this is definitely a platform that you should be looking at especially if you have high quality content that you want to advertise now I'm sure you've heard about the website StumbleUpon which is a social media website that enables you to stumble which is basically store your favorite web content so a lot of people use StumbleUpon you know to actually store websites they like and then they'll be shown other types of content that actually relates to that so other content that StumbleUpon believes that that person will like based on their existing stumbles so it's a very intelligent platform and one that a lot of people use just to pass time and read the type of content that they're into. Now, what I'm going to talk to you about now is the advertising network of StumbleUpon because it's pretty sophisticated and it's also low cost to start up. So basically you can have full page ads as you can see and ads work on all devices. So as you can see, you can distribute your content, which is articles, videos, slideshows, whatever you want, as an advertisement. So here are some examples. So there are millions of users, so you can target the specific users that you want. So it's really, really simple. And here I'm going to give you the tour quickly as long as you have a URL for your content that's all you require the content that you want to share you choose your audience using their targeting which can be based on location age gender etc and of course stumble upon itself is based a lot on targeting interests so it's likely to be very very accurate for that you're in complete control of your budget so there's no minimum spend at all and you can start and stop at any time so there's no way you can go broke by trial and error with stumble upon ads and if you want you can have your visitors start to arrive within just a few minutes if more people engage with your content you'll also receive free visitors as you can see from this graphic here and you have obviously optimization, reporting, etc. Now, as you can see from the pricing plans, they have some plans specifically for large companies, but the pay as you go service is perfect for a small company or an individual. So, it's definitely a platform that's worth checking out. Um, you can start with a very small budget, and you can try all video ads, you can try all content ads, whatever you want to do. So, definitely check this platform out, and you're going to receive some free visitors as well. This website is Slick Deals, which is a very popular deal website. So it lists products and services that are for sale online that have a very good discount at this present moment in time. So as we scroll down the site, we can see uh, some deals. So we can see a free game here, uh, a very cheap PC game. A $100 eBay gift card for $95, and so on and so forth. Now, if you have an ebook or a product for sale online and you want to discount it for just a short period of time, what you can do is submit it to this website as a deal. So, all you do is head on over to deals in the menu here, click post a deal. And all you need to do is follow the instructions, which is basically a forum thread. It's obviously to your product, so you'll know if it's not a repost. Um, and basically, all you do is follow the um, seven guidelines here, enter the information in here. Scroll down the page a little bit. Uh, as you can see, these are the different types of 
uh, products or services that you can list on the website. So books is one of them. If you have an ebook or videos, if you have uh, tutorials, and you can select the type of deal, category for it to be displayed in, and all of that other information. So it's a real good way of getting more people to not only check out your ebooks or products, but also sell a lot more products as well.